In this video, we're going to focus on simple circuits. One of the most simple circuits that we can create is one that has a battery and a resistor. That's a very simple circuit. Now right now, the circuit is on. This is the positive terminal of the battery, and this is the negative terminal of the battery. Let's say we have a 12 volt battery connected across a 100 ohm resistor. What is the current flowing through the resistor? And also, how much power is dissipated by this resistor? As the name implies, a resistor is a circuit element that resists the flow of electricity. If we didn't have that resistor, if we simply connected the battery like this, what we would have is a short circuit. A short circuit has very, very little resistance. And so there's going to be a lot of current flowing in this wire. Now, depending on the battery, the amount of current flowing through this wire can be dangerously high, such that the wire could burn. So this is a situation that we want to avoid. That's why it's good to add a resistor to restrict the flow of current because we don't want too much current flowing through these wires so they don't catch a fire. Now it's important to understand that this represents the direction of conventional current, which flows from a high potential to a low potential, so from positive to negative. But in actuality, electrons are the charge carriers in a metal. Because the electrons are free to move in an electrical conductor, it is the electrons that move from the negative terminal through the resistor to the positive terminal. So just keep that in mind. So how can we calculate the amount of current flowing through this resistor? Well, we could use Ohm's law. Voltage is equal to current times resistance. We have 12 volts connected across the resistor and the resistance is 100 ohms. So solving for I, the current, we just got to divide 12 volts by 100 ohms. Twelve divided by 100 is 0.12. So the current is 0.12 amps. And if you multiply that by 1,000, that's equivalent to 120 milliamps. Now, here's another question for you. Now that we know the current flowing through the resistor, how much power is dissipated by this resistor? Now we can calculate the power dissipated by the resistor using this formula. It's voltage times current. It's also I squared R and it's also V squared over R. You could use any one of those variants to calculate the voltage. Now let's use this equation. So it's going to be 0.12 squared times the resistance of 100 ohms. So the power dissipated by this resistor is 1.44 watts. Now it's important to understand what that means. Power is the rate at which energy is being transferred. So one watt is one joule per second. So this means that 1.44 joules of electric energy is being transferred from the battery to the resistor every second. So in two seconds, 2.88 joules of energy will have been transferred. In 10 seconds, 14.4 joules of energy will have been transferred from the battery to the resistor. So that's what power tells you. It tells you the rate at which energy is being transferred from one object to another. Now let's add some other circuit elements to this simple circuit. Let's say 
we have a switch we have a resistor and let's say we have a red LED which is a light emitting diode and let's say the voltage drop of this LED is 2 volts and over here we have a 9 volt battery and let's say we have a 470 ohm resistor now what we have here is called an open circuit the circuit is not closed but once we close this switch it's gonna change from an open circuit to a closed circuit so let's go ahead and close the circuit so now the switch is closed. We'll call this S1. When the switch is closed, what is the current flowing through the resistor? Also, what is the power absorbed by the resistor and by the LED? And what is the power delivered by the battery? Now, in order to calculate the current, we need to find the voltage drop across the resistor. So we're going to assign this point as our ground potential. We're going to give it a potential of zero volts. Across the battery, the voltage is nine. A voltage is potential difference, electric potential difference. So if the electric potential at this point is zero, the electric potential at this point will be nine. Now, because this is just a wire or a straight conductor, Anywhere along this line, the potential will be the same. It's nine. Now we have an LED that consumes two volts. So this point here, the potential will be two volts. So what we have right now is a resistor that has an electric potential of two volts on one side and nine volts on the other side. Current is going to flow from high potential to low potential. So it's going to flow in that direction. So the voltage across this resistor is the electric potential difference between those two points. So the voltage across the resistor is seven volts. So that's what voltage is. It's the electric potential difference between two points. So now using Ohm's law, we can calculate the current. So we have seven volts across the resistor and we have a 47, I mean a 470 ohm resistor. So the current is going to be 7 divided by 470. And we get a current of 0 0.01489 amps. Now to calculate the power that's being dissipated by the resistor, we could use this formula, V squared over R. So the voltage across the resistor is 7, so that's going to be 7 squared divided by 470 ohms. So that's 490 over 470. So this resistor is consuming 0 0.104255 watts. If we multiply that by 1,000, that's 104. I'm, I'm going to round it to 0 0.3 watts. So that's the power consumed by this resistor. Now to calculate the power consumed by the LED, we know the voltage across the LED, and we also know the current flowing through that LED. Because this is a series circuit, the current flowing through the resistor is the same as the current flowing through the LED. So let's use this form of the power equation, voltage times current. So we have a voltage of 2 multiplied by this current. So 2 times 0 0.01489. That's 0 0.02978 watts. I'm going to multiply that by 1,000 to convert it to milliwatts. By the way, this should be MW for milliwatts. So this LED is consuming 29.8 milliwatts. Now let's calculate the power delivered by the battery. 
So I'm going to use this form of the equation as well. So we have a 9 volt battery multiplied by the current of 0 0.01489 amps. So I get 0.134 watts. If we multiply that by 1,000, that's 134 watts. So notice that the power delivered by the battery is equal to the sum total of the power that's being dissipated by the resistor and the LED. And it makes sense because energy has to be conserved. The rate at which energy is leaving from the battery is equal to the rate at which energy is being consumed by the resistor and the LED. So that's it for this video. Hopefully it gave you a good introduction into simple circuits that includes batteries, resistors, and light emitting diodes.